Hi guys, we're back in Pacifica Dive at 2226 Chino Roses, Makati And I'm here with Torben Hi Torben Hi Vlad Good to see you Good to see you again And we're here to talk about quartz That's correct So we have people come in and asking for plugs and asking for hoses mm -hmm. and Sometimes they're not familiar with the differences between a high pressure port, a low pressure port, and try to put the wrong thing into the wrong opening. Outcome is typically not very good. So we have a high pressure Scuba First Stage, in this case Scuba Pro MK25 EVO, and we have up here the high pressure port. This stage has two of them, one on the right, one on the left side and we have low pressure ports all around the bottom, four of them and one on the end. So we have five low five pressure low ports, ports, two high pressure ports and the difference is they look similar but they're not. The lower one is a 3 over 8 UNF mm -hmm. thread, the upper one is a 7 over 16. So if I take my low pressure hose, it will not screw into the high pressure port. That used to be different some 30 years ago when everything was 3 over 8 but fortunately people have changed that and we have no longer people really connecting without adapters a low pressure hose to a high pressure port. So on the high pressure um, hose as you can see here we have the correct 7 over 16 and it goes right in and it needs a slight tightening just this much. Please don't, if you ever get the idea to do this yourself, don't over tighten these ports. They're s they are all sealed by O-rings, not by how hard you tighten them. Mm -hmm. So just take this back out, it's easier to work. So that's a 7 over 16 and what's special about this is on both sides you can't really see where the air goes and that's a safety feature. So on the Scuba Pro first stages, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny hole between the high pressure area here and the high pressure port. And this is simply the case, so in case a high pressure port would fail or the hose would fail, mm -hmm. the amount of air that escapes is minimal. Mm -hmm. This is only a sensing port, this is not a delivery port. So all we want to m generate is a pressurization here. We do not want to generate a delivery port where we deliver high pressure air. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the opening here is tiny. And if you have the correct high pressure hose, it's the same on the high pressure hose. The opening here is tiny to prevent large amounts of air to escape in case of a failure. The low pressure ports obviously are the exact opposite. These are delivery ports, meaning we want to have the maximum amount of air coming out of them thread is a seven sorry it's a three over eight and they screw right in of course use the correct hose length we used now the shortest one we had on hand just to show you which one goes where and again slight tightening only and that's the correct port on this side so there you have it seven over 16 versus three over eight high pressure versus low pressure Okay, thanks Darben. Thanks Vlad. Alright, see you thanks guys. Thanks for again. watching. And thanks for watching. See you in the water. Bye.